What is up guys, Vixen today doing another Sony Vegas tutorial. I know I've been doing a lot of these lately, but they've been getting quite a lot of views and you guys seem to enjoy them, so I'm just doing another one. I'm doing one every few days, so hopefully you enjoy this. Now today I'm going to be showing you how to change the color of your guns or camos in like Call of Duty or Battlefield, whatever game you're playing. So this is it here, as you can see, the gun just slowly fades to different colors. Now it doesn't have to cycle through the different colors like I have here. You can do it so it just stays one solid color. You definitely don't have to do it this way. You can just leave it like say I want it blue, you can just leave it blue, um, obviously it starts off pink. And it doesn't have to be um, a solid uh, camo, you can do this with like for instance the weaponized 115 camo and just the orange bit will change color. Um, or you can just do it with a plain colored gun and then change the color of the gun itself. So really sick effect, uh, really pretty useful for doing uh, in montages and edits. I think it looks really sick effect. So yeah, let's get on with the video. If I go and open Sony Vegas here, as you can see, I already have my video in. So we just play this through. Um, it's just me staying there. I walk along. And this is just a little test video. Uh, the longer the video is, the probably the longer it will take to do, but the better the effect will look. So uh, yours may be different. The more movement you have, like reloading, shooting, um, switching weapons, uh, meleeing, the more movement you have in the video, the like not worse the effect's going to look, but the it's just going to be harder to do, and it will take you a lot longer to get it to look good. So. Before we continue, right click and hit properties and make sure disable resample is checked. Just always do that on all your clips, make sure that is ticked. Now you're going to right click on this and uh, hit duplicate track and then you'll have two of the videos. Now just click on this top track just so you don't have both of them selected. Just the top one selected and then go to the very left hand frame, the first frame over here. So then what you're going to want to do is go to video effects. Now find where it says uh, cookie cutter, so it is here. Um, now you may have a lot more plugins like this, uh, but by default in Sony Vegas you just have these few ones here. So just find cookie cutter and drag that onto the top layer, like the top uh, video track. Now if we create a border here, you'll see that you start to get this line, it's fatter and fatter and fatter and fatter the bigger we make it. So the skinny uh, skinnier the better really so just make that as skinny as you can really uh, thin layer now the actual border applies to the outside of the circle so when you make it really fat it's not actually changing the size of the cutout area it's just giving you a fatter border so if we do this say and I'm by the way to move it you have to go to this little uh, crosshair in the middle and just drag that so say I do this and you see the top there is being cut off, it is not actually being cut off because the border is the outer edge of the circle, not the inner edge. So that's basically just select a border about as skinny as you uh, can, so about 0.02 is what I'm using. Then go and move it using that crosshair in the middle and just move it really as close as you can to your gun. Now rather than using cookie cutter tool for this, you can mask it. Um, I We'll put a link to a masking tutorial in the description below, but cookie cutter is just easier and it just makes everything a lot more simple. So you can use masking, but cookie cutter is just easier. So find where you want it just really close to the edge of your gun, and then you uh, make sure before you continue, uh, and actually make uh, click where it says size and where it says center, and tick these two, or like select these two boxes, the animate things, and then this will come up down here, timeline. Now before you continue, make sure this is select, sync cursor to media timeline. This has to be selected or when you move your cursor across here, this cursor won't move. So just make sure it's selected. Then what you're going to want to do is use this little button here, next frame, or you can also use your right hand arrow key. But I'm just going to use this frame here, so just press this frame across and I'm just walking forward. So as I'm walking forward, the gun never actually leaves this zone. So for me, I don't really need to change it at all. But say you reload, you go across a frame and the gun moves up a bit, so I'm going to move it down, and then I go across a few frames, and the gun's going at the border, so I move it up there, and then I go across, move it up a bit more, and you just do this uh, bit by bit, you don't have to do it one every single frame, but just across pretty much the whole video, do this little bit by little bit, and then make sure, go across the whole video and make sure that in every frame pretty much uh, the gun is covered by this cookie cutter like circle or ring. 
Now once you've done that, you're happy with it, you can just go back uh, using the other button here, back frame by frame, making sure that it is all covering the gun and that it, you're happy with it. So once you've done that and you're happy with it, uh, make go and where it says border, drag this back to zero, it'll disappear. Then where it says feather, drag this all the way up to two. Now you think that I've just disappeared, done, undone everything, it's all gone. If we hide this layer underneath here, you can see there is a cutout around this whole uh, gun area and it's all faded out. Uh, ignore this little weird pixel error, I don't know, I just get that on my computer, but just ignore that, you, you won't have that. So, as you can see in this area, you have the gun and then the cookie cutter is like a big fade out and it covers this whole area. So it's just an easier way of masking, uh, see, you can mask manually and go around it bit by bit, but that is just a lot harder. So I recommend just using this method. So we're just going to enable this layer below, and then on your effects, go and find the color corrector uh, video effect. Effect. So make sure this is uh, color corrector secondary. So in parentheses here it says secondary, make sure it is that one. If you use the normal color corrector, this will not work, so make sure it is that one. Now you're going to drag this over onto your clip here. Uh, make sure it's on the top cl clip and make sure only this one is selected, not both of them like that. So just make, it, make sure it's the top one. Then if we go... Now if you just want to change the color of your gun permanently for the whole clip, so say I want it uh, orange instead, oh, it's more of a yellow color. If we just play this through, it is now uh, just yellow, the gun is yellow. So say so obviously this is just going to be, you know, a yellow gun. But say you want it to, like I showed you before, where it's uh, flicking through the colors, changing them every second or so. What you're going to do is put rotate hue back to zero, and hit this little button here. This is animate. So make sure that's selected, and then down here in your timeline, what you're going to do is scroll all the way down, and you'll see color corrector secondary. Now I want mine to start pink, and then a few frames in, let's say here, I want. Uh, the color to change to let's say orange and then I want it to change to green. So once you have finished that, um, obviously you don't have to do as many as me, I just want to do a lot just I think make the effects look a lot better. So if we go to the beginning here and we play this through and you see the color is just uh, changing once uh, per like twice per second or something like that. So yeah it just goes through all the colors and then back down again. Obviously you can do them a lot more slower and the fades will be slower or you can do it even faster and make it like pulsing. You can do it to the beat of a song which I have done before it looks really good if you do it to the beat of the song. But yeah that's pretty much it. So yeah that's pretty much it guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed uh, this short kind of tutorial. If this tutorial has helped you or you use this in some of your videos uh, please leave a like or subscribe also tell me in the comments below or leave me a link if you do use this that'd be really appreciated just because I like to know if you guys actually like these tutorials and they're worthwhile doing so that's what you guys like on subscribe and see you next one bye